Hello, everybody. This is Angel Arts, and today is a very exciting time because today I am going to be announcing the finalists of my penultimate tabletop campaign that I will be hosting in the very near future on my channel, which is what I am currently codenaming um, the Ready Persona 1 tabletop campaign. If you have no idea what I'm talking about and need to be caught up, just look at the links in the description below and you'll be able to know a little bit about what's going on here. Um, but for those of you who are in the know, uh, I am going to get to the finalists. I know that I typically say that for the very end, um, but I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as I can. Um, I wanted to... It's always, I always feel like a, a broken record every single year, but every single year, it's true. And fortunately, this is the last time I have to feel like a broken record for this, at least for the foreseeable future. I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who auditioned, not only for this campaign, but all of the other eight campaigns throughout the years. Um, by the time I take a break from tabletop gaming, at least on my channel, I will have been doing it for ten, over 10 years. And um, I, I remember first doing my very first campaign, um, which was way before I had done all of this whole audition process with uh, Dragon Age Season 1. Never realizing that it was going to be nearly this ridiculously popular amongst my viewers. Um, never thought that I would be doing this for this long. And um, I just wanted to say I really appreciate all of you who have supported uh, this type of storytelling. Um, for those of you who have not only like been in the campaigns, but also just simply participated in the communities, it really does mean a lot to me, and I wish, I wish so much, and I, again, broken record, I say this every year, but it is true, I wish I could take all of you. Um, I think the hardest part about this whole thing is that I know realistically there are many of you who have auditioned every single year or every chance that you could, that you could multiple times, and um, I wish I could say that, you know, your persistence has rewarded you in the way of finally actually solidifying a position in the campaign. I wish I could say that to all of you, but realistically, uh, that's not necessarily a guarantee. Um, and that really breaks my heart. Um, there are those of you who have auditioned multiple times and haven't even gotten into the finalist round. And again, that really, really breaks my heart. So all I can say is, you know, I, I hope that you still feel that you have gotten something from this experience, that you've learned something from this experience, at minimum made some new friends who also have the same interests as you, possibly might be able to play some games that they're hosting. Um, and at least in this specific medium, at least in this specific medium um, on my channel, we may not necessarily play that way, but maybe we might be able to play together in other ways. Um, whether it's somebody else's game that I'm, you know, playing in, or if it was like a one-shot situation that I might still host in the future, um, as opposed to a full campaign. Who knows? I mean, so, yeah, that's really, like, the biggest thing. Um, if you did not make it to this point, or if you don't ultimately make it into the campaign, uh, again, it's not because I don't like you. It's not because I thought that your audition or your interview sucked. Um, not by any stretch of the imagination. But um, as usual, there's uh, more than five of you. And at the end of the day, I have to choose only about five to go to the campaign. So now that I've gotten that out of the way, um, for those of you who have never experienced this process before, um, after I post uh, this video on my channel publicly announcing who the finalists are, I will then proceed to 
uh, post the interviews of every single finalist. And I will ask everyone um, to take some time to watch everybody's interviews. They did, everyone did such a great job. We have so many diverse characters, so many diverse players, so many diverse experiences and tones. The sheer shift and changes in the different tones of this campaign um, rivals that of the previous campaign, the Athenaeum tabletop campaign, which by definition was supposed to have a lot of very different and unique uh, tones amongst itself. So that's what, something I'm really excited about and I hope that you will all enjoy watching that. Um, as you're watching the videos, please do uh, take notes. Um, definitely leave feedback if you can on the comment section, both um, both uh, encouraging feedback as well as areas of growth, you know, constructive feedback, areas of growth. Um, I know people are very appreciative. Like the whole point of this whole process is that we are very supportive of each other and all we want to do is that we want each other to be better and to improve. Like myself, I also still want to improve and be better as a GM. Um, and that all of the feedback that we provide comes from a good place. It comes from a very good place. So yeah, uh, the last thing I will also say is that uh, if there is a particular player that you really liked and you believe deep in your heart that they need, that they absolutely need to be in the campaign, um, put a thumbs up, put a like on the video. Um, know that I am not going to be paying attention to any dislikes. It is a waste of your time and energy to do a thumbs down. Only do a thumbs up for the people that you really like. I would highly recommend that you A, um, wait until you've watched all of the finalists first, you know, just so that you're not biased. Just watch, wait until every single finalist video has been posted and if you've had a chance to watch all of them and then go back and give your likes. And I would recommend, since I'm anticipating that there will be five players in the campaign, anticipating, um, try to try to um, reserve only five likes um, throughout all of the finalist interview videos. That's my strong, strong suggestion. At least that's probably what would help me the most. So, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Without further ado, here are the finalists for the penultimate tabletop campaign. Kyle, Jojo, Sora, Ronick, Gremlin Mike, Dan. Mark, Joey, Hales, Sage, and Ethan. Congratulations and good luck to all of you.